Lithuanian Prime Minister Ingrida Shimanita has said that her country is ready to send its military to Ukraine on a training mission. This implies training the Ukrainian military, but Kyiv has not yet made such a request. She noted that Russia would certainly consider this a provocation. If we were just thinking about Russia's reaction, we couldn't send anything. Every other week you hear about someone being threatened with nuclear weapons. Ingrida Shimanita, Prime Minister of Lithuania, in a comment to Financial Times. Earlier, Lithuanian President Gitanas Nauseda said that if we rely on the reaction of dictator Vladimir Putin, Western countries will never make any decision and added that states need to discuss the idea of sending troops to Ukraine. I welcome the idea of sending missions to Ukraine and still believe that we should discuss this idea. Of course, it would be best if we all unanimously agreed on the need for this and very carefully assessed the intelligence and other information we have. Gitana Snowseda, President of Lithuania. Meanwhile, U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller denied the information about the potential dispatch of the U.S. military to Ukraine. Earlier, House of Representatives Democratic Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries said that if Russia has an advantage in the war against Ukraine, the USA will probably have to intervene, not only with money, but also militarily. I am not going to comment on statements made by members of Congress. The president had made it clear that we will not send American troops to fight in Ukraine. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius, at the beginning of a four-day visit to the United States and Canada, stressed the importance of continued united support for Ukraine, which is defending itself against Russian aggression. Putin must not succeed in his brutal war of aggression. It is a question of whether democracies can defend themselves. This is Europe's most important strategic challenge. Putin's war is the greatest threat to the world order. Boris Pistorius, Federal Minister of Defense of Germany for publication in Deutsche Welle. The possible dispatch of NATO troops to Ukraine would not violate international rules, Czech President Petr Pavel has said, adding that he did not refuse to take part in the discussion on the matter. French President Emmanuel Macron has confirmed the possibility of sending French troops to Ukraine. However, this could happen under certain conditions, if the Russians broke through the front line and if there was a request from Ukraine. Reported by Halina Babenko, Yulia Bil, UATV News.